All right, coming up next, the wait is over for this heavyweight championship fight between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Alexander Volkanovsky. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder. But now it has felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill for fitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it. Right now, they're all chasing the bull, man, Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Volkanovski is one year the elder. Oliveira will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volodarsky. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Charles. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's dif different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Left hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There it is, taller fighter landing and knee with the body. Oliver. 
Rivera doing the right things defensively. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. Armour's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Oliveira. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Flush right hand is true. Volkanovski got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Well, he stayed pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Oliveira. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Oliveira. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. I mean, that right hand landed square. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you the fight. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go now, round two. Charles Dubronx Oliveira. And Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, big left hand there. Dig and kick. Nice uppercut. Well, the champ Volkanovski. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. 36 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Had a pretty good clip tonight, DC, landing with 64% accuracy against Alexander the Great Volkanovski. Just out of range with that left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they set the oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Might be a submission attempt here, Chandler. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. 
Volkanovski is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Under a minute now in round two. Able to land the single ground strike there. Oliveira's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. This fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. This good. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kick, you start to affect the boot. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression of right. his opponent. 65 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. Well, six out of every 10 strikes roughly have found the mark, landing with 60% accuracy against Alexander Volkanovsky. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Level. There you go. There you go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hit. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volkanovski. Seconds to go. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? 
if your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice combination there by Volkanovski. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He gets to his spot, the tie pin. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Clean with the right hook. Unable to connect there. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, double leg takedown. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got a choke. He might get a finish here. And that will do it! He got him! <laughs> yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! So we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC.